I'm about 60 feet up in this Douglas fir trying to rescue Tigger. The wind has really started to pick up and it's kind of making me nervous. Oh boy. If the wind speeds increase at all, I'm afraid Tigger could fall. I need to get this kitty and get down now. How you doing, Sean? How's that Tigger cat? Tigger's doing good, but this wind isn't helping anything. And I'm finally able to see Tigger, and he's telling me all the warm things that he told me last time I got him out of a tree. You know, he's rubbing up against the branch, he's meowing at me, he's almost looking like he wants to climb down and see me, and all of those things are great. But I don't have time for chin nuzzles. This wind is picking up, and I need to get us down fast before we both lose our balance and get seriously hurt. Oh, you're okay. Holding Tigger in my arms like this just really makes me love what I do. And he just melted in my arms and just looked up at me and said, thank you. Look at this face. And now he's ready to go down, aren't you, Tigger? You remember me, don't you? Okay, kisses. Good boy. Good boy. Tigger's in the sack. He's ready to go down. Tigger's awesome. Woo, good job. Woo. Let's get go get kitty. him. Tim really wants his daughter to be around when we open the bag up. We got a kitty for you. <laughs> oh, Here, take yay. him out. Here you go. You got him? Sorry. And I thank him very much for rescuing our cat for the second time. And hopefully it won't be for a third, but you never know. Yeah. Sean? You can. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Gentlemen, yeah. thank you very much. It was awesome to hand take her back to the kids. Maybe you just like seeing me. So maybe instead of climbing these trees again, maybe I'll just stop by periodically to just kind of see how he's doing. Thank you. You're welcome. He's a good, sweet cat anytime. Let's get out of here. All right, let's do it.